looking at the historic Maumee Theater, we are continuing. Life's better here in Maumee because it certainly is. I'm talking now with Chef Joseph Jacobson from Degage Jazz Club. Yes. I said it right? Jazz Cafe. Jazz Cafe. Yes. I said the first part right, though, yes, right? Yes, you did. You got Degage. it right. Degage. Yes, and did. you have some fantastic food, don't you? Yes, we do. Tell me about it. What makes it different? What makes your restaurant different? Uh, we're, uh, I was classically French trained uh, as a chef. And uh, I just went to New York City to uh, train, and I came back to this area because I wanted to give everybody the same experience that people get in New York. And uh, I kind of take my French training. I'm also very passionate about Southern cooking, so I've kind of fused uh, the two together and uh, made what Degage is now. Well, let's tell people if they miss Kim DeGiulio's uh, Life Tastes Better here on Thursday, or if they don't know what what that fusion of French and Southern meat. Give me some examples of what they would find on the menu. Uh, we do a lot of barbecue, a lot of smoking. Uh, we use a lot of ingredients a lot of people don't know how to use, uh, like uh, green tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We use uh, pork rinds in a lot of dishes. Uh, a lot of Southern uh, ingredients, a lot of Southern spices. Uh, and we just kind of mash it all together in different ways that you don't get anywhere else around here. That is my uh, stomach growling, I yes. think. That sounds so good. What does sustainable mean to you? Uh, sustainable means to me, uh, a lot of people don't take advantage of the great local farms around yes. here. Uh, there's so many options for fruits, for vegetables, uh, and it's important to support our local farmers. Uh, I know you can go to the grocery store any time of year and get tomatoes, but those tomatoes are shipped from you know a thousand miles away compared to the tomatoes that are growing right, right now in right. our area, then there's no comparison at all. Well, and it's so important to support those local businesses, but don't you think it makes such a difference in how your food tastes? It too? does. It, there's no comparison between, for example, produce from Mexico compared to what is grown here. Uh, it's just, you can taste the love that's gone into it, you know, the hard work that's gone into it. It does make a huge difference. Yes, so you started a cooking class school, right? Yes. Tell me uh, about that. We started about four years ago. Uh, it's pretty much exploded now. Uh, we do about three classes a month. We're also starting to do corporate classes, like team building classes. We do private classes. So it's kind of a whole nother side of the business that we're doing now. Tell me what I might learn if I come to your cooking class school. Uh, we change our theme uh, every month. And then, so we have a technique class that uh, we do once a month, which is like knife skills, uh, learning how to do sauces for example, things like that. Then we do more fun classes, like uh, today I'm actually doing class on seafood. Mm. So I'll be teaching people how to use, break down fish, uh, use different seafoods, how to prepare it, how to grill it. And then uh, like we're doing a class in October for like uh, Halloween desserts and cookies, things That's you can do fun. with your kids. Yep. Well, let's talk about, you said something about team building. Mm -hmm. uh, how can working together with your uh, peers or your coworkers in a kitchen, how can that help build teamwork? How can that help you work together? Uh, well, working in a kitchen, it gets very stressful. You know, uh, I like to tell a lot of people it's kind of like a pirate ship with the different uh, uh, personalities. You know, it gets very stressful uh, because, you know, we're cooking for a lot of people at once. Sure. We also have a banquet hall upstairs, so a lot of times we have that going on, plus the restaurant's full. Uh, so it gets very, you know, it's kind of chaos, work, isn't it? chaotic, yes, but we all come together, you know, when we know when it's time to focus, get things done. That's a really great idea. I've never mm -hmm. thought about it before. If somebody's interested in those cooking classes mm -hmm. or if there's somebody watching and they're like, I have a local business, mm -hmm. I think that would be great to have my employees do that. Mm -hmm. What should they do? Do they just call you guys? They can call us it? at the restaurant and uh, speak with our banquet coordinator, Monica Fowler, and she sets up all the classes. Let's talk about the the actual restaurant. When is it open? Um, are you open for lunch, dinner? How's it work? We are uh, open Tuesday through Sunday. Uh, we open at five o'clock, and we have live music every night. We're open um, Tuesday through Sunday. We're uh, the only live jazz club left in the area, so uh, I like people to support you know local bands, absolutely local live music. Yeah. It makes for such a better dinner atmosphere it does. when you can it, yeah. have the music with it. And if, you, if people do not want to sit with the live music, they can also see it on the TVs. They can hear it. We have TVs in every room. Okay. So the music is piped live 
into every room also. So you can have a little more of a private atmosphere. So you can be able to talk more, sure. you know, because it gets pretty loud in the cafe sure. sometimes. If, um, if somebody comes, they're always going to find some new menu items. You guys don't just serve the same thing all the time. How do you select those new menu items? Uh, well, I don't. I have a great team that I've assembled. But, you know, it's taken a while. I get, they're very passionate. Uh, when we do decide to do a new menu, I usually will have them, you know, come up with their ideas. We'll kind of have a little contest, you know, whoever does the best dish in this category, I'll put that on the menu. I usually name it after them also. You know, it kind of keeps them motivated. They get excited about what we're doing. And uh, we try to change it as much as possible based on the season and what I can get locally. You sound like a really fun guy to work for. It's a shame I can't cook. But well, you'll just have to take the classes, then I, you'll know. I, Look, if you can teach me to cook, yeah. then you are going to win some really great awards. I haven't, there's nobody I've ran into that I've not been able to at least teach the basics to, so. Challenge accepted, yeah. my friend. All right, let's remind people again uh, where you're located and what your hours are. We are located at 301 River Road, so we're right down on the river. And uh, we are open Tuesday through Sunday. We open at 5 o'clock. Sunday we open at 4. And uh, we're usually open till you know, the music's done around 11.30. The bar's open a little later. Degage Jazz yep. Cafe. Yes, Degage. Fantastic food, fantastic music, a great atmosphere. And he's going to teach me how to cook. Right. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back on Better Living.